Yo, 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 what is going on ladies and gents? It is your boy here, Imo, and welcome back to another video on my channel today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing another episode of Devlog for War in Arms Prime Forces. If you're new to my channel or you've got no idea what I'm talking about, we are now producing a brand new mobile CQB game called War in Arms Prime Forces, which is going to be set to release just after or during the summertime of 2021. So ladies and gents, Without further ado, drop a like, subscribe, join my Discord down below, but also don't forget to join the War in Arms Discord as well, which you can find down below and follow our War in Arms Twitter page as well. We will be creating a Instagram page very, very soon. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's jump into it. Guys, um, this video was meant to be released like two, three days ago, but I've been very, very unwell. So uh, this is the first time I've actually sat at my computer for more than like an hour without actually going back to bed. So here we are. I'm going to run through the uh, pretty much everything that we've done this week and last week really quickly. So this is going to be a quick devlog. But first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for 7,000 members on the War in Arms Discord server. That is incredible. So thank you so, so much. And also, guys, I just want to just share with you that uh, G Fuel are having 30% off right now. So go over to G Fuel and uh, use code IMO for 30% off because, you know, if you want to support me, then there's your way. <laughs> okay, let's blabbering and let's jump into it then, shall we, ladies and gents? First image I'm going to show you is this one here. It's pretty much your, just a basic match history one, similar to the ones that you saw in the last devlog. But as you can see, it has changed a little bit. So victories, defeats, you can see K, uh, kills, assists, and deaths. What mode you was playing, if you was MVP, and how many points you actually earned. But it's not just also the points that you earned. It's also RP, which is, of course, um, some of the currency that you can use inside the game, which I'm about to show you some of the... Uh, shop like side of things i didn't even know what i was going to say there but the shop side of things so uh next image i'm going to show you is this one here which is going to be the operators so when you click on operators in the main menu you're going to be given attacker or defender yes we know that this is a valorant concept art in the middle uh so before anybody points it out to us saying why are you using valorant's images it's just concept art Basically, if you remove everything that is not ours, so which is just the uh, the character and put our own character into it, that's what it will look like. But right now, we're still modeling our characters, so they're not complete yet. So next image I want to show you then, ladies and gents, is this one here. Voila, the attacker. So this is what it's going to look like pretty much, guys. You're going to see the attacker, the name, the operator descriptions, how much armor speed he has, the ability that he, he actually holds, the loadout, and also your customization part of it as well. Um, so this is exactly how it's going to look. And this image next to it, this one here, is going to be what it's going to look like if you haven't unlocked that operator yet. So you can buy it with war credits, which you earn from playing the game. Or if you just want to buy it straight off the bat, you can actually purchase war gold with real money. Um, but we give you the feature of if you want a free to play game, uh, you know, you grind the game and you, you know, you earn the war credits and you pay for whatever you want with the war credits. But there will be a limit to what you can buy with the war credits. So as I mentioned, the game is not paid to win, but there are going to be some skins and camos and outfits that will only be available through War Gold. Um, but everything down to weapons, down to operators, um, you can buy by the in-game currency, which is the credits, which you earn from just playing the game. So the only things that you can buy pretty much from the gold, because it is not paid to win, is just different camouflages and skins and outfits and stuff like that okay and like time limited um like skins that come once you know once ever so for example if we release like a i don't know for example like a black hole skin um you can only buy it this week only and it's never going to come back out ever again so those are the types of things that you will be able to buy with real life money um but like i say you can pretty much buy everything in this game with the credits so is it paid to win no even though I say that every time. 
next video here guys is going to be the shop so here is actually a skin that we are looking to put into the game straight away um which is a organization skin so what we are going to be doing is bringing on a couple of orgs into the game we will allow them to have five uh, different weapons and they will customize their own skins we will then make them and put them in the game and then whatever skins sell they earn a profit out of it as well so we're giving back to organizations that move over to our game uh, but this is pretty much how it's going to look as you can see marketplace you can buy it with the gold featured um apparel skins boosters uh, coalitions top-ups and of course the squares on the right hand side is going to be you know for different bundles and and different information parts but i really like how this is actually made it looks so sexy on to the next image then guys is on to our rookie character before i show you the rookie character because this is the 3d model of him this is only like the first week of modeling him so how it works is it takes two weeks for a character to be drawn up then it takes two weeks then to have it modeled we are just about to go into the second week of modeling so let's show you the first one is just going to be the boots so the boots are currently being modeled currently not finished not really much to talk about there next model then is actually the rookie itself as you guys know from the artwork that we showed you you know a couple of videos ago um there's going to be a big change in this 3d model to make it look like that but this is just basically the base layer like think of it ma as making a cake you have to make the base and then you decorate it after and you, you finalize it after so this is nowhere near finished but we this is a devlog we want to show you what we've been doing the next image then is again from uh, a little bit upgraded so there's a bit more onto the character and then again the next one then is a front view of it again a little bit more upgraded okay then so on to the next one then is going to be our concept arts so like i just mentioned concept art comes first then it comes modeling then texturing so we haven't really showed you any new characters so here is our next one this uh, operator is called reverse as you can see this is fully drawn out reverse basically he shoots a um, dart into the wall uh, which then um, it's not electrical it's radiated and um, pulses which is radio waves so if anybody puts any um, you know abilities or breach charges on the wall it will destroy all equipment but yeah onto the actual color palette that we've used is this one here again there's not really much i want to talk about i just kind of want to show you guys what we've you know got up to less blabbering and more showing off <laughs> uh next image then here is again on the left hand side is the dock um we have completely re um drawn him because we wasn't satisfied with our original design because it was too futuristic but this one is a little bit better and on the right hand side as you can see we are starting to develop a female character i'm not going to let you know what her name is um but she's got a cool ability trust me and she's probably going to be the most used operator i'm going to be honest with you so on to the next image then guys is again this as you can see in the background um, where it's a bit faded was our original design of the the dock character but now there is our redesigned one so you know our characters kind of look like um they're kind of similar to like the destiny and i remember when we first spoke about designing the game we wanted to bring on board like a bit of destiny a bit of valorant a bit of a rainbow six siege a bit of area f2 you know combine them all together and kind of make a good baby <laughs> Uh, final image I got for you then guys is a uh, model of a mp5 weapon so I haven't showed you a weapon model in a while here it is on screen basically um, all we've done is change the the stock and the barrel a little bit but that's what the uh, the model is going to look like it hasn't been textured yet so it's nowhere near complete but uh, we've got an important phone call on Thursday we've got a couple of investors that want to invest in our in our game if the investors are successful with ourselves that means that we will get some funding we can hire more people and uh, that means that we can potentially make the game a little bit quicker than what we're making it right now so this is all good news hopefully fingers crossed everything goes to to plan but anyways ladies and gents that is all for today's video again i'm sorry for the delay but also don't forget to drop a like subscribe 
And uh, if you want any G Fuel, go over to gfuel.com and use code, code <laughs> IMO. Apart from that, though, ladies and gents, I hope you had a fantastic day, night, morning, wherever you are. I will see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>